What's going on, recruits? This is Tory Gurley, former five-year NFL veteran. And I'm going to talk to you guys exclusively about recruiting, camps, seven-on-sevens, one-on-ones, what questions to ask college coaches, and how to get your name out there. I've experienced it myself. I was a two-star on Rivals.com and Scout.com, you know, two-sport athlete, football and basketball, and I know what it's like to go under the radar. So this right here is for you guys, because obviously if you had five stars, you wouldn't be on this page. But make sure you guys like, subscribe to my page. Let's get that out of the way. But we're going to dive right into recruiting and how it works. A little bit about myself is um, I, I'm from Rock Hill, South Carolina, and I was a two-sport athlete, and I was surrounded by a lot of talent. A lot of talented guys that, that came from my area, not only in football, but even basketball. Played with Stephen Curry, played with Charles Dewhurst, played with Jamie Skeen, uh, Ishmael Smith. Had a bunch of guys on one team that went off to play Division One basketball, and some guys went on to the NBA. You know, obviously Steph uh, being the MVP and, and world champion. But I, I've been surrounded by a lot of talent my entire life, and I always felt as a player, I never got that due. You know, I never felt like I never got the just due of, of the scouts or maybe the websites and whoever. But something I realized was that my mother was my biggest supporter and that she believed in my dreams of me playing high level ball. I wanted to play in the SEC. So my mother did that. Now I had some help along the way. I do not want to slight any of my high school coaches, but I know when it came down to the, the, the groundwork or the legwork of constantly being on the phone and, and hounding these coaches, it was my mother. My mother was the one that um, really uh, supported me throughout that entire uh, process. So let, let's talk about Rivals.com and Scout.com. I don't knock what anybody do for a living. You know, those companies go out and they evaluate players. Now, majority of those people really didn't play. So with them evaluating players, you have to be very mindful of, you know, that type of information that's out there where it's not going to affect you. You know, I, I, me in particular, like I was a two-star two out of five. You know, you would think that if you were a five-star, you automatically go to the NFL and life is great. It just doesn't work that way, you know. I beat out a bunch of guys to be where I was at. Um, but throughout the process, uh, the camps, you know, I'm quite sure, you know, you guys are trying to figure out the next seven on seven or the next one on one or the next combine to go to. Well, if you guys don't know about the calendar of the NCAA on what uh, what months and dates these coaches are allowed to come out and evaluate you as a player, then you're already behind the eight ball. Like meaning before you sign up for any camp, the first thing you should do is pick up the phone and call the people running the camp and ask them, is this a live recruiting period? If you don't have one of the links that I'm going to have below, is a link to the NCAA. And it puts out the, it's a calendar and it has it laid out by the entire year. Green is go, red is like, no, they can't talk to you. So, and there are some other colors in between that lets you know about the silent period and, and, and some other details. So if you're going to a camp and it's on a date where it's red, then it lets you know that there are no scouts there. I don't care what they put on that flyer. I don't care what your teammate said. I don't even care what your high school coach said. If it's not on that day, the correct date of these coaches to come out and recruit, they're not going to be there. What you're going to see is a bunch of parents sitting around in lawn chairs with the iPhones out trying to record you. And that's one of the hardest things to do, especially when you having your mom do it because it's so many kids on one field. The next thing, having the right information before you go to the camp. If you're a wide receiver, why would you go to a seven on seven or a one on one camp without your quarterback? Hypothetically, you're out here, you know, you're trying to make a name for yourself. You're going under the radar. No one knows who you are. Do you truly think you're going to be able to show up at a camp? No one not knowing who you are and they're going to throw you the ball or that you're going to have the same timing and, and rapport that you have of, with your high school quarterback. Just think about that for a second. These, some little, these are just some small nuggets that I can provide for you guys that I have in a program. Um, below, you will see the link to my website, 
You guys can reach out to me. This is a service that I have for young men who wanted the opportunity to play. Um, I will continue to, to share more videos and, and to talk about different topics when it comes to helping you guys achieve that goal. Because you know what? It does feel pretty good to have this on my chest, you know, to be a part of that NFL brotherhood, to be a, a vested veteran. And I know that's a lot of you guys' goals and a lot of you guys' dreams. But before you get to that, you want to make sure you take the right steps along the way. Because if not, your career could be over with as soon as your last high school game. And I know you guys don't want that. Even better, it doesn't have to be over. You can make it from anywhere. I've I've played in the NFL. I've had teammates that played at NAIA schools, Division Three, Division Two, Low Division One, and Power Five. So the choice ultimately is yours. But I'm here to help you guys, point you in the right direction, so you can maximize every opportunity. Take care. Make sure you guys like and subscribe.